This video will be about the basics of drawing the cone. The cone is basically made up of a triangle and a circle. Because when you look down on a cone, straight down on it, you see a circle with a little with a little point. When you look at it directly from the side, you see a triangle. So the only thing, there's only basically two variants of cones that you can draw. So one of them is the one-sided cone. And you draw your triangle, and then you convert it to form by adding an arc down at the bottom. And what I like to do is I like to come straight off the cone, arc around, and go straight back into that triangle. And so now I buy myself a little dimension. Here it's flat, here it's dimensional. Flat, dimensional. Flat, dimensional, right? Still both cones, but you can tell that this is actually a cone, whereas this basically just looks like a triangle. Your other variation on the cone is you do your triangle and you show us two sides. So the cone suddenly has a bottom that you can see. This is just if you're looking into the cone. Okay, so these are basically the only two cones you can draw. Everything else is a variation on the cone and you're either cutting or taking away. If you cut the cone, you can draw your triangle, convert it to form, cut your cone off wherever you feel like it, add an ellipse, and you have a little cut off cone. The only real way to screw up a cone is to do that. Other potential ways that you could mess it up and uh, make it look kind of odd if it's supposed to be a perfectly symmetrical cone is you could do something like this. But this has its use too, so this is kind of odd but useful when you're doing hats and things like that. Um, the only thing that, the only preference that I have, and sometimes this is a stylistic choice, is to come at, with your lips and hit point to point and create a pointy transition to the triangle. It's not really a transition, it's just an intersection at this point, right? So if your cone does this, it goes point, arc, point, point, arc, point, then essentially what I'm saying is if I, I look down on this cone, its actual shape from above is this sort of thing, just like a cylinder. And this is the kind of main mistake that you can potentially make. This will create dimension. It'll just look a little bit funky.